Okay, we'll do this a bit differently to what we have done the similar ones before. So let's see how we go with it. Actually, yeah, we're going to make this quite large. We're going to make it 290 that way and 270 on the vertical. Right, we don't normally do that until we got the original, but anyway, see how we go. going to reverse it. Now I'm wondering what colour we're going to give it, what background colour. It's either going to be blue or it's going to make it blue for this one. Going up here. Going to add some blue to this. hue. Going to warm it up a bit. This will be a challenging one, just a tad. But we're doing it differently to what we've usually done them. Okay, what have we got? We got here an empty flirt blitz mints. So this is from Aldi. So you get these from Aldi for your information. So we're just going to put it on the glass. I'm just going to move it a bit away from the edge. So let's see how we go. I hate the way they call it flirt. I mean, flirt just sounds like something you do when you want to attract a partner. <laughs> this is silly. I don't understand, but that's advertising. Advertising, they try to... I think a lot of it's subliminal, I suspect. Uh that they think that if you, if you feel attractive to the opposite sex, it's going to make you want to buy the the brand. Yeah, it looks a bit shit out. Uh, just wondering if we're going to make something different out of this. Oh, that's right. We reversed it. We made it into a negative. So that's why it looks looks kind of like that. But yeah, blitz, fl uh, flirt. I mean, flirt is such a funny word. Um, of course they're going to use, they're going to try and attract people to, to buy the product. We're going yellow. So they're trying to make the product as appealing as possible. Even though to me, it just seems stupid to call it flirt. Like it's just like really dumb. <laughs> I'm a bit too smart for this kind of, um, I'm not. I'm not the kind of person that falls for advertising very often. Normally with advertising, I, use, I try to use it in a practical sense to get some kind of... If you can find, an, you can find a product that you want, and it, I don't know, it's, it's really hard. Like, it's, like, I want the ad to give me some information on the product instead of feeding me, like, gimmicks. Or Anyway, that looks interesting. Instead of giving me gimmicks, I want to basically try to use the advertising as a way of getting some kind of information on the product or that knowing, or should I say, not so much information on the product, but the product is available, is available, uh, whatever. It's confusing. It's because <laughs> most people, because most advertising is just smoke and mirrors and people, strangely enough, more often than not, seem to fall for it. And it's just so... Uh, incredible how how that happens like so many people maybe I'm maybe that's not the right way of putting the ad what I meant by getting information about the product I think it's more to do with the product is available that there is a product out there but you got to sort of read between the lines and know what, how much of it is reality and how much of it is smoke and mirrors you got to basically be you got to learn to be like discerning to you've got to be a discerning um, consumer otherwise you'll get fooled and you'll part with too much of your own hard-earned cash and and often the product that is 
um, that you buy is, is below is below standard or not fit for purpose even. That's the problem with trying to to work out what it's about. So you've got to basically have your wits about you when you're dealing with uh, commercial products, and that's not easy. Trying to that looks shit. That fucking looks shit. Ugh. So yeah, you just have to basically have your wits about you as a consumer or a potential consumer because otherwise they'll just fleece you for all the money that they can and they don't care if the product doesn't doesn't serve the purpose that it was advertised. So you can't... I actually was a bit wrong in saying find out about the product because you've got to be... you've got to know what's, what's real and what's bullshit in this in this commercial world that we live in you got to know what's real and what's fake and that's not always easy to discern so the advert becomes more like telling you the product is available um gonna leave it on that so yeah it's it's not easy trying to work out what's a good product and what's a load of shit until you've actually purchased the product uh some places offer trials but you don't but they probably have really strict terms and conditions which is you hear a lot of the words t's and c's and I'm just, i really hate the word t the way they shorten it to t's and c's because they try to make it sound really trendy something that's really shit so t's and c's folks there's plenty of them around so i wonder if this is going to be good enough uh it still looks shit uh wondering if we're going to do another one if we're going to make another one it's not easy doing this these i obviously have problems with this particular type of demo with this kind of imagery for some reason it just never seems to work the way that i want it to and this, pla this paper's not sliding easily on on oh no it's sliding okay now but it wasn't before but basically yeah you just have to know what what you're getting yourself into when you buy a product especially a pe like a mobile phone for example you've got to make sure the mobile phone that you buy is suitable for your purpose otherwise it's you, you've just blown a big bag of nosh on something shit <laughs> i mean i have to i have to know that a mobile phone is available and what it's capable of and basically yeah you've got to have your wits about you so not, it's not easy trying to we're going to use this it's not easy trying to find things out and get the information you need to make successful use of the capitalist system the capitalist system is there to make you trip up and part with huge wads of cash that you often don't need or want to do so you've got to play the system you've got to know how to play the system that's something I've been I myself have been learning to do since I've been working on this campaign here, is playing the system, you know, using it and, and, abu and at time abusing it so I can make something useful out of it, so I can get, get my money's worth. And it's not easy. And sometimes things just don't work properly and shit like that. And you have to fucking, whatever, it's a pain in the ass. Like my photocopy, I had to outlay it. I outlay, I have a bank loan for this photocopier because my old C353 suddenly broke down and I didn't have a service agreement because of the um, lack of availability of parts. You know, the parts could not be guaranteed by Konica Minolta, so therefore the machine became useless and I need a fucking machine that works for it to work my campaign. And basically... This is it. And I had to get it because the other machine was un, was not it wasn't worth servicing. So I'm really disappointed with Konica Minolta. So I've had to work out the pros and cons of this equipment. Uh, you know, I had to learn. A, there wasn't much to it, to be honest. But I just needed a machine that would work, that would give me what I need to be able to make my videos. I mean, yes, it's far from perfect and indeed I have real I have a real hatred for the company that made it uh, Konica Minolta 
So, bait. I've just got a phone call on my phone. I just thought for a moment the recording was going to stop, but it said if you answer the phone, the recording will stop. So I'm just going to let this phone ring and I'll ring back the person. Uh, it's a real nuisance when that happens. Uh, but at least it doesn't shut the phone down or shut the, um, the videoing down. Things like things I find annoying that shut the phone, the videoing down are, are software updates. They're the ones that are a real problem because the when they pop up on your screen, you basically end up losing your video. Your video stops and then you interrupt your video and it's no good and you have to start again and it's a real pain in the ass when that happens. And that's reminded me I should turn off my Wi-Fi so that that doesn't happen so I don't end up with an interruption but anyway that looks interesting I think now we can call this demo quits